Occasionally, temptations arise to cause us to contemplate compromising our faith. How has God equipped us to overcome temptations to compromise our faith? Today's key verse reads, And Jesus saith unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this day, even in this night, before the cock crows twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. Mark chapter 14, verse 30. While not explicitly stated in the book, Mark is thought to have written this book for Gentile believers, especially Roman Christians facing horrendous persecution. Throughout the book, Mark chooses not to focus on Jesus' genealogy or Jewish heritage, but his triumphs and tragedies, and his roles as Savior, King, and Servant. He vividly shares stories of Christ's miracles, but also his struggles. Jesus knew that he was soon going to be hung on the cross, nails hammered in by the Romans at the instigation of his own people. But perhaps one of the most hurtful things was that his own disciples would desert him. After three years of living and traveling together, being taught by him, seeing him perform miracles and serve others, and coming to a clearer understanding of who he is, they would still lose courage and forsake him. Peter found this desertion unfathomable and confidently proclaims that even if all the others abandoned Christ, he would not. Christ solemnly affirmed that Peter's failure would be even greater than desertion. He would refuse to admit or acknowledge that Christ even existed three times before the rooster crows twice. Three times in the Garden of Gethsemane, Peter failed to remain alert and awake. Christ's words to him in the garden were, Watch and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. This could have served as a warning for what was to come. Peter is confronted with potential recognition, but he responds with more vehemence, cursing, and swearing that he does not know Jesus or his disciples. Peter's adamant promise of unending devotion to Jesus is now contrasted with unending denial of him, serving as a caution that no matter how devoted we are to God, we always have the potential to abandon him. As the rooster crowed the second time, conviction pierces Peter. The scripture says that he called to mind Jesus' words to him. These words seal his contrition. The word for call to mind is not just to remember, but to weigh well or consider. Once he thinks on Jesus' words, he begins to weep. Peter is now ashamed of his denial. He realizes his self-confidence has now turned to weakness. His boldness has now turned to fear. Now he sits with the realization that he is not the ideal disciple and is left with the truth of his sinfulness. Let's discuss the meaning. These passages reveal how anyone can struggle with their faith. We see 12 men who walked with Jesus daily for three years make horrible decisions when faced with opportunity, persecution, and suffering. They abandon not only their Lord and teacher, but a beloved friend. Peter's failure is not only in his desertion, but in his overconfidence, and therefore not safeguarding his faith through prayer. What warning does this provide for us? How can we guard against deserting Christ in our lives? Here's our lesson. Today, we don't face the same persecution as the disciples or original readers of Mark's Gospel, but we are often tempted to compromise or abandon what we know to be true. Maybe we pursue relationships that will cause us to deny Christ. Maybe we avoid telling people we're followers of Christ and avoid spiritual conversations because we don't want to seem eccentric or holier than thou. But God is calling us to be faithful to him in all aspects of our lives. So let's make it happen. The redemptive part of Peter's story is that he was remorseful, repentant, and ultimately restored. Mark records the angel telling the women at the tomb, give this message to his disciples, including Peter, indicating Christ's forgiveness. Peter goes on to become a leader in the church, courageously and faithfully serving Christ for the rest of his life. So if we've found that we have denied Christ or abandoned him in some areas of our life, we can know there's redemption. Let's pray God will reveal those areas, and let's pray for faith and courage to make different choices when faced with similar situations in the future. Thank you for listening and subscribing to iLights. May the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus.